Dr. Robert Berger, and today we're going to talk about vitamins and minerals and other important metabolic processes that occur in the body. And this is a very important place to start because there's a lot of information out there about vitamins and minerals that is misleading. And what we are going to do once again is decode and decipher a lot of that information and make it very clear what these things actually are. And please remember that every week we will have new material. In order to get this, you go to the website drrobertberger.com. Today we're going to talk about vitamins and what is a vitamin. And a vitamin is an organic substance that is required by the body in very small or minute amounts. What a vitamin is, is an essential type of chemical that's either produced by the body or must be taken in by food or supplementation. But regardless of whatever it is coming from, a vitamin itself is not a food, it is a very integral part of the metabolic processes. Now what a vitamin does, it can act as a catalyst, which means something that allows another reaction to occur faster, or it can actually be part of a reaction. This is important because, number one, a vitamin cannot stand alone, meaning that when you're utilizing vitamins, they should be taken along with food sources, or during some period when there is food in the gut or in the uh, gastrointestinal tract because the vitamins actually allow these food sources to go through the metabolic processes. So taking a vitamin alone is really not going to allow that vitamin to work. Because remember, a vitamin is not a food source, it has no calories, it has really no nutritional value per se, other than what it does for your food sources and for your metabolism. Now, a mineral, on the other hand, is different than a vitamin. And many people talk about vitamins and minerals together, and they are both needed together, of course. But a mineral is an inorganic substance that, of course, once again, is required for certain metabolic reactions to occur. Now, it's different than a vitamin because it does not act as a catalyst or take place the same way as a catalyst and does not end up as part of a reaction, but is an actual integrative part or substrate in a reaction itself, meaning that it has to be there in order for certain substances to, let's say, connect with each other or have uh, affinity for each other. Now, a perfect example, let's just say, is the well-known mineral is calcium. Now, calcium by itself is a mineral but of course it's been used to increase bone mass and many other functions in the body. But calcium is also used as a mineral in many metabolic processes other than the, the obvious ones that we know about in very, very, very small amounts, in minute amounts. And so calcium is probably part of over thousands of actual mechanisms of action in the body other than the ones that we know. So vitamins and minerals together work together in conjunction with each other, but are completely different entities. Now the important thing about talking about vitamins and minerals is that what they do, what are they producing? The whole concept of what these things do is they allow metabolic processes or cellular metabolism to go on. But what is cellular metabolism? What's going on there? And what's the purpose of cellular metabolism, even talking about it? Well, there's a common denominator. All cellular metabolism creates something called ATP, or adenosine triphosphate. Now, everybody's heard of that probably somewhere along the line, and many people aren't really aware of what ATP really is. Now, ATP, adenosine triphosphate, is a byproduct or the, the result of metabolic processes. In other words, this is the energy that is produced by the cells. 
And this, of course, the ATP then goes on and creates other things for energy. But this is the main energy source that comes out of both anaerobic, meaning uh, without air, or aerobic, meaning with air, metabolic processes of the cell. So, on our next segment, we will go into, in detail, information about exactly what ATP is, how it performs in the body, and why it's so important for metabolic processes. So until then, this is Dr. Robert Berger, and everybody have a great day.